Welcome back to Made Simple. Today we're going to be talking about safety stock. But before we begin, like always, make sure you subscribe and smash that like button. It would really help me out a lot. In our last video, we talked about EOQ, our economic order quantity. Now we're going to be talking about safety stock, um, all related to kind of inventory management. So safety stock is basically the inventory you want to have on hand to avoid stockouts because of demand increases or demand jumps or something like that. So it's basically just the amount of inventory, amount of product you want to have at all times um, in order to avoid stockout costs and, and things like that. And so this is also another pretty simple formula. You really only need to know three things. And that first, first thing is you need to know the lead time, specifically the lead time in days. And the lead time is basically um, the amount of days in this case it takes you to from when you order the product to when you receive the product. Um, so that accounts for shipping, you know, if we like in the last video, we used an example of water bottles. Let's say we use that again. We were selling stainless steel water bottles. If we order some today. It's going to take a little bit for them to get here. So let's say that'll take seven days. Now, the next thing we need to know is the standard deviation or the ST dev of the daily demand. All right, and so to calculate standard deviation of daily demand, generally what you would have is you'd have a big list of, of data of your daily sales. Um, we'll just make a quick list, um, a quick list right here um, for a couple days. Because um, in this case, we're looking at daily demand. Um, so let's say this is 100, 122. And we're actually just going to use a, a, random, a random function here. Um, we'll say the top is 1 to 500. All right. And so we'll just drag this down. All right. And so this is our, um, our daily demand for the last 17 days. All right. And, and generally, you'll have a lot more data than this in order to find this. But... In this case, we're just going to be using some random data. So these are just the demand numbers. So we sold 291 that day, which is a lot. Um, so basically, we just use the stdev function. And Excel will do all the work for us. So we're going to go ahead and select all of this. Select Enter. And we see that our standard deviation of daily demand um, is 123.7 water bottles. And... I'm actually going to take this um, and I'm going to copy it because since we use the random function, it's just going to change every time. So I'm going to take these and just move it over here. All right. So our standard deviation will then be these and 123.7. All right. And now the last thing that you need to know um, is the service level. That you desire and the service level is basically a way to measure the performance of a certain system right so it's um, kind of like a percentage to which our goals should be achieved um, it's kind of like the definition of it um, and basically what that means is like if we say we want in this case let's say a 95% service level that means that 95% of the time, we're going to serve our customers um, properly, right? Or we're going to fulfill that customer need. All right. And so you need to do two calculations here to find safety stock. First, given the service level, you need to know the Z-score. And the Z-score is determined from the service level. So there's two ways to, to figure out the Z-score. Um, one way is you can just look up a chart, and I just kind of copy and paste this chart from the internet on here. Um, and we said we wanted a 95%. So we need to find on this chart 95%. Um, and obviously these numbers are in decimals, right? So it's, you know, if you take 0.95 times 100, that's 95%, right? So here we have 1.6, 
and then going up column 0 0.05. So our our, cert, our uh, Z score should be 1.65. And we could type that in there. Or Excel has a nifty little function called the, the norm sin V function. And we can just select the service level there, hit enter, and there we have the 1.65 like we had seen before um, as, our, as our Z score. All right. And that is all you need to know in order to determine your ideal um, safety stock here. All right. And the safety stock is easily calculated by taking the Z score and timesing that by the standard deviation of demand times the square root of the lead time. And we'll see here that our safety stock is 538 and a half, let's call it, water bottles we want to have on hand at all time. So just a super simple calculation in order to figure out that ideal quantity we want to have at all times. So ideally, we never want to drop below this um, because this is, this is what we're going to need in order to be most profitable, avoid, um, avoid stock out costs and, and over-the-top holding costs and things like that. All right, so hopefully this was super simple, quick video. Uh, make sure you subscribe, smash that like button. I would really appreciate that. Thanks, and have a great day.